Well, one company made it official today. Visa is accepting millions in tax breaks and coming to Austin. The average salary for those 800 jobs is six figures. Yeah, and Visa actually volunteered to pay every employee at least $11 per hour. Today, local leaders announced a plan to make sure other companies do the very same thing. The night beat Shelton Green is live downtown to talk more about this. Hi there, Shelton. Hey there, Tyler. Well, tonight, Austin and Travis County leaders stood side by side with advocates, all of whom are demanding that future employers hoping to get a tax break first have to offer better wages and better jobs before any deal is done. Keeping Austin clean is a new experience for Sean Palmer. It's just a job for right now. A job Palmer says he's happy to have after he was recently laid off from a job he had for six years. While the money isn't sweeping him off his feet, he thinks a fair hourly wage for Austinites should be at least 10 bucks, at least 10 an hour. Can we have true economic prosperity for everyone in Travis County? Si yes. se puede. Tuesday night, a mix of labor union reps, politicians, faith based groups, and advocates for fair and safe working conditions came together in Northeast Austin, announcing a new county requirement. Any future business wanting a tax break from the county will now have to pay employees at least $11 an hour. They want the city to follow suit. We really feel that a company that is not willing to pay uh, a floor like $11 an hour isn't a very good candidate for an incentive. There might be exceptions and we leave room for that. Everyone is a beneficiary from this. Um, the, the reason why companies want to come here so badly is because we have a healthy, educated workforce in a beautiful environment with an infrastructure that can move their goods and their human resources. There are very large tax breaks uh, that are coming out of every single one of our pockets, but we can set rules so that some of those investments are brought back to the community through better wages and better jobs. So what about the folks working right now who may not be making what city leaders believe is a fair wage? We are hopeful that all the wages will kind of come up along with us. Uh, we've got more work to do. By the way, Travis County Commissioners passed that $11 an hour requirement back in November. The entire Austin City Council tackles the issue in January. We're live in downtown Austin. Shelton Green, KVU News Nightbeat. Very interesting. Shelton, thank you for that.